Good morning, and welcome to Wednesday's Word. It's a beautiful day here in Sheridan, and I hope you had a wonderful weekend. It was Mother's Day, and so much to celebrate. There was celebration at church, and hopefully you were able to celebrate with your moms and the, those moms that are part of your life and your adventure. Part of what we did for Mother's Day is we went to the movie, and we went to see this movie called Unsung hero. We'd heard a little bit of the flyers and we were excited to go and it was so much better than we even imagined. It was a life story about a journey and you'll see in the flyer that it said uh, a journey from down under to center stage and I won't spoil the movie for you because I'd recommend you go see it. It, it stirred our hearts. It it talked about this journey that took him from a pinnacle of life on a fast track to being in a desperate situation and how God saw them through, how God guided them by His Spirit, by His Word. And it's just a magnificent story, a real story, a true story. Now I want to take you to your story and my story. Because you see, we're in a transition time from Easter tide. Next Sunday is Pentecost. And as I was preaching on that in John 17, Jesus' high priestly prayer, there was a reference back to John 16 and how the Holy Spirit works in this whole process of Father to Son to the Holy Spirit, each bringing glory to the other person of the Trinity. And this is what I came across in John chapter 16. And the slide you're going to see has in different colors some of the verbs in these few verses. So it's modified for, for emphasis. But follow along as I read John 16, 12 to 14. Jesus says to his disciples, I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. However, when he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own authority, but what he hears, he will speak. And he will tell you things to come, and he will glorify me. For he will take of what is mine and declare it to you. I recommend your reading that whole chapter, chapter 16 of John. But when we think about the movie, we tie it in with the Holy Spirit today. That's part of my goal. I hope we achieve it. Because the unsung hero in the Bible story, you could say is the Lord, but really it is the mom of the group. And oftentimes moms are unsung heroes. They they support their kids, they support their family, and in oftentimes roles that aren't center of attention. The Holy Spirit is like that. The Holy Spirit never tries to draw attention for Himself. He always points to the Son. He points to the Father, but primarily Jesus and what He came to do and, and how He came to save us. He proclaims the truth. He makes it known to us. He brings to our memory all the things that Jesus has taught us. And so the Holy Spirit guides us. He builds us up in faith. He helps us walk the Christian life. He takes us in those lowest times and He speaks to our hearts. He encourages our faith and He restores to us hope. And in life's adventures, there are many highs and many lows. And we need the Holy Spirit to guide us, to direct our hearts, and to remind us that we have a Savior and His name is Jesus and His love is unfailing. So I don't know where you're at in your journey of faith and your life adventure, but I'm confident God is there for you. And He touches our hearts, He opens our eyes, He opens our ears to hear the things He wants us to hear in our personal lives, in our own struggles, and in our joys and celebrations. We thank the Lord for that. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank You for movies that remind us that 
There are highs and lows and you see us through them all. You provide in untold ways and you open our eyes to see that the, the blessings that we receive, they come from you. And some of those blessings, some of the most important blessings are our moms, our grandmas, those who, who serve in a mother role to encourage us and bless us and remind us that we are yours. You made us uh, perfectly and wonderfully made. And Lord, you redeemed us with the precious blood of your son that we are forever loved, completely forgiven, that we are children of God, saved for heaven and put in this world with a purpose. So Lord, continue to reveal that to us each and every day. For we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a wonderful week. Thank you.